Gold wanting to rally up here into the 1195s now. We are confirming uh, that a break above. Remember, we said 1144s. We kind of had that build up in shorts. Uh, the shorts are starting to give up now, and they're starting to get squeezed, and the acceleration starting to happen against them. So I'm still short from the 1152s, just in case, for whatever reason, that trade ends up working out. I'm still in it. Um, and if I get stopped out at the 1172s, uh, which is where my stop is from my 1152 short, where I took half off at the 1132s, this is not the 1134 short that got free off of 1124 first targets. Um, that that trade has now been stopped out, right? This this short off the highs we got free, got free off the 1134s as it moved back towards the 38.2. We took 1124 first target. And uh, we got free off that trade. And that's exactly what we look for. Now, we're looking for a larger through of structure potentially to form to the upside here. And for eco legs to terminate up into the 1195s. And that would take us out of this original 50% short we were in. But when we step back on gold, we see a confluence of FIB levels up here uh, at the 1195, uh, 1200 area. Again, there's a 50% short. There's an eco leg. So up there, I'm ready to be a seller again. But where we are right now, and where the market's standing right now, um, and as it stands right now, I should say, um, I'm still short from 1152s. My stop's at 1172 because I got free at 1132s, and this would uh, this move up may may or may not take me out. Maybe it's just gonna be a retest and we'll go sideways. I don't know, but I'm protected. I'm I'm in a short and I have an opportunity here um, for continuation. Gold, 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 gold. Here we go, guys. We're starting to break out of a range and, and potentially no trend zone here, which is awesome. We talked about gold. Um, first, let's talk about the equal eggs here for gold. And the confluence of FIB zones that we could have here up for gold in the near term. I want to be a seller up into the 1195 area. Stops above 1225s. First targets down to the 1170, 1165 area, and ultimately we'll take it down to the 1035s. But if we take a step back on gold as well, and we look at the prior high before this X wave high, this is a very similar idea of what we looked at on the Aussie yen too. That 130, 1307 anchor to low. And the equal eggs up, we have a confluence of fibs into this 1190 to 1195 area. And uh, while the original 50 back was a next in the series drawn from this X wave high to low, and it got free and clear off the 1152s, and we are still in that setup until we're stopped, in, which I'm kind of anticipating we're going to get stopped on here. And I'll be taking out break even from my 1152 short, which we had stops at 1172. First targets down to the 11, um, 30 to, or 1030 to 1132. Um, we are starting to break out of this range. In other words, the original broken full 50% short has now broken the highs. And so while we're still in a no trend zone, because it's still just a no trend zone from that this low to that high, uh, we have a very good shot at, at, at finally breaking out of it. So I'm kind of not going to talk about that anymore, and we're going to talk about the setups that are coming up here into the 1194 to 1190 area. Should be good setup, good short for gold. Uh, and, you know, hats off to those that got long and potentially held them here. Uh, it was a choppy range, and it was wasn't easy for longs or shorts. Remember, we talked about it. it was It was one of those. The, whenever markets go into those no trend zones, it's kind of like if you want to be in that trade and you you got to be in that market, get free and pick a side and go with it. I just happen to have been in the.
the original setup that traded that started the whole range. Simple as that. Uh, I am looking for maybe one more pop higher here into the 1195 area to get eco legs filled um, alongside the full 50% short drawn from the 1307s to the 1072 lows. We've traded in three waves up into this eco leg and full 50% inflection zone where there is a confluence of fib levels and uh, we are looking to be sellers up here for downside uh, towards first targets of 1165s, stops above 1125s. And uh, or 1225s, excuse me, stops above 1225s, entry between 1190 and 1195, and first targets down towards 1165s, with ultimately downside towards the 10,025 area, or 1,025 area. More importantly for us, gold continues to break down off our 1190 shorts. Full 50% shorts traded from the 1308 highs to lows. Three waves up into the full 50% inflection zone short traded off 1190s. We got first targets filled down into the 1160 handle. The full 50% long, right? That was not a take for us. It wasn't a trade, but it was something we watch. We always watch the opposing side, right? It's like Sun Tzu's Art of War. War, you know, the art of war is about knowing your memory, your enemy, and it's about deception. Market traded straight down, knifed through six to eight lines, broke the short, or sorry, broke the long, and now we're looking for the 50% ambush short potentially to trade in three waves up. So we have a sell now at the 1148s in gold. Stops above 1160. First target's down to 1138. And ultimately downside, that'll take us into a test of new lows and for a swing lower as we are holding our 1190 shorts for their swing to their downside negative 23.6 line towards the 1017 area. Gold, uh, we're still in our 1190 short. Uh, the 1190s provided a free trade towards the uh, 1160s in a full 50% short. The market's now traded down into a test of new uh, prior lows. We could be sellers up into the 1130 area, stops above 1146, first targets down towards 1120s, but uh, there's a very good chance that this market will not give us that re entry point. Uh, so we are still holding our 1190 shorts for downside towards the 1020s, okay?